everyone, it's Charlotte and Melba here, and we're shouting out our support for our, our LGBTQ brothers and sisters with this uh, rainbow crochet cat, I don't know what it is, <laughs> a neck collar. But we just wanted to make uh, you know a gesture in solidarity. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hope to catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. Yes. Yeah. Equality. Yeah. Good girl. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> okay, so for this tutorial you'll need a rainbow of colours. Now, I've used five different colours. You could use um, more. Um, you could use less. You'll just have a smaller or a larger rainbow. So, um, like I said, five colors kind of works for me and the size that I'm looking for. But if you want to, you know, you want to go for more colors, then, then you definitely can. Um, I've got a pink, an orange, a yellow, a blue, and a uh, green. And these are, they're all, you know, kind of wool blend. So, um, yeah, they're not all the same yarns. They're uh, all a bit different, but they're approximately the same size uh, as far as, um, you know, weight goes. They're probably all around a two to three weight. So if you can match your yarns as closely as you can to, you know, a similar weight, then then uh, great. Um, so if you've got a finer weight yarn, you can, uh, you could do a double strand for that color. You'll also need a crochet hook, and I'm using a 3mm. You don't want a hook that's too large, most likely, otherwise you'll end up with a really large rainbow. This is already kind of an oversized rainbow, but I'm using a 3mm with the yarn that I've got. You'll need some scissors to snip your ends. You'll need a darning needle to weave in your ends. And uh, you may or may not need a tape measure. It's completely optional it's just to get an idea of your cat's neck circumference. Okay, so to make this uh, rainbow collar in support of LGBTQ pride, you'll need to know how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to double crochet, how to change colors, and I'll show you how to do that in a way that's super simple. Um, you'll need to know how to make these tassels, and I'll once again show you how to make the tassels in the way that I make them. And then we're just going to add this super simple tie-up um, for the neck. Okay, just a, it's just a few strands of yarn, and you can just use it to tie it around your cat's neck. So, really simple beginner project. You don't need to really know how to crochet. Um, if you don't know how to double crochet, then just check out a video before you get started. And other than that, it's a super simple crafting project. So, let's get started. Okay, so take your colour one and slip knot onto your hook. And then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then we'll chain an extra two as a turning chain. Okay, so we have a total of eight chains there. So locate the third chain from the hook, and we're going to place a double crochet into that third chain. Now, we're placing two double crochets in each chain in this first row. Now, your chain, that chain two, will count as a stitch here. So you've placed your two double crochets in that third chain from the hook, so including the chain. Move on to the next chain and place two double crochets into that chain. Oops, 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 it's split. So two double crochets into the next chain. And then into each chain all the way along. So place two double crochets in each chain until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I've finished my row one there. So I've placed two double crochets in each chain and in that first one this, the chain actually counts as a double crochet. Okay, so I'll have 11 stitches and one chain for a total of 12. 
Okay, so now we're going to change our, to our first colour. We'll change to our second colour. Change colours for, for the first time. So how I change colours, and there's a few different ways you can do this. I, I'll show you a super simple way to do it. Now, just take your next colour, place it over top of your hook. So you've got your tail end on one side, or the back side, and then you've got your working end on the front side. So just pull up a loop from there and tighten your ends. Chain two and tighten again and turn your work and then you'll just start working with your new colour. So once again place your double crochet into that first stitch which counts as two double crochets because remember we're counting the chain two. In the next stitch place a double crochet. In this row place two double crochets in the next stitch. Then one double crochet in the next. Two double crochets in the next. Then one double crochet. So we're just repeating that two, one, two, one. Then two. And two. And then one. And then two. So a super simple repeating pattern. Two double crochets and then one double crochet. And now we've reached the end here. So we've got two stitches left, including our chain. So we've got one stitch here. It might be a little bit tricky to see, but there's one stitch. You can probably see it on your own work. There's one stitch here. And then we've got the chain. So we're going to work into the next or the second to last stitch. We place one double crochet. So we're basically just mirroring what we do at the, at the beginning. So one double crochet. And then either into, you can work into the chain space if you want to. It's easier that way. Or you can work into the top of the chain. And you'll place two double crochets either into that chain space or into the top of the chain. Now the top of the chain will look a little bit neater, but if you're putting tassels on, it won't really matter. You won't really see anyway. So I'm just going to work into the top of the chain to show you that version. Okay, so we're counting the, that chain as a stitch. So that's our first two colours, first two rows. And then we're going to move on and change colors again. Okay, so take your next color and change just as you did before or in your own way, whichever works for you. Pull tight, chain two. And once again, pull. Just make sure everything's nice and tight there. One double crochet into that first stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch two double crochets into the next and then to keep increasing the size of your rainbow layers this one you'll add one double crochet into the next two stitches okay so that's going to be our repeating pattern for this row row three so two double crochets one and two into that next stitch and then the next two stitches one double crochet one and two two double crochets in the next and then two double crochets, one in each of the next two stitches. And 
continuing to repeat that pattern, so two, one, and one. Oops, starting to get a few too many tails. By this stage, you could have cut your cut your tails off if you want to, and then two. And the next, and then one in the next, two stitches, and then you'll add your two double crochets into that last, either top of the chain or into the chain space. So I'll work once again into the top of the chain. can be a little bit tricky to get in there. Now try and, if you can, take two loops at the top of the chain. can be a little bit tricky. And then place two double crochets into the top of the chain, or the chain space. Okay, and that's row three done. So you can really see it's starting to become a rainbow now. So what you can do is snip off your tail ends. So I just make them approximately similar length to the other one. Just don't cut off your working end yet. Just make sure you're, when you do that that you're cutting the right ones. And then we're moving on to colour four. So I've got five colours. You might have more. But I'm moving on to my next colour, which will be green. And changing colour just as before. Chain two. One and two. And once again, tighten those connections. And turn. Double crochet into that first stitch with of course still your chain counting as a stitch and then in this one double crochet in the next two double crochets in the next and then if you're starting to get the idea of the pattern there'll be one double crochet in the next three stitches Oops. One. And two and three. So two double crochets in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in the next three stitches. So continue that repeating pattern for this row four. The two and then three. So two, one, 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 two, and three. So I've got, yes, two, one, two, three. So you continue on, and I'll meet you down at this end of the row. Okay, now in this row you will have two stitches in your chain left. So in those last two, just place one double crochet in each of those last two stitches. So actually just to go back, so when, when you get to the end of this row you'll have done your two one 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 and then you'll have two stitches left so two double crochets in those last two and then into your chain you'll once again place your two and get that in there the best you can. You'll once again place your two double crochets into that chain. Okay, and that's the end of row four. So for me, there's one row to go, so I'm going to change my color for the final time. So now I've got my blue here. So I'm just once again changing as before. Chain two. Turn, place your first double crochet into that first stitch. Once again, tighten, 
snip off your end if you want to at this point or you can just snip them all off at the at the very end of the project once you've finished it's up to you in the next stitch place a double crochet the next stitch two double crochets and it's easy enough for you to work out by now that in the next four stitches we'll place one double crochet so we're just increasing by one double crochet in each repeating pattern so as the rows get bigger we just have to add that one double crochet into the repeating pattern okay so I've put four so I've got my my two in here in that third stitch one two three four and then I'll just continue to repeat that so two double crochets in the next stitch and then four in the next four stitches so one in each of the next four two and three and four so continue on repeating that pattern and once again I'll meet you down at the end of this row okay so now with this the fifth row what you'll have is you'll have so I've done um, you can perhaps see there so there's a there's a two one two three four a two and then you'll have one two three four stitches including the chain left so what I do with those is at the end here, I just do one, two, and three. And then my last, the chain, so always in that last, first and last stitch, you have two double crochets. So place two double crochets into that chain at the end there. So you don't quite get in a a final repeat pattern in that last Ooh, it's hard to get into that chain so like I said if it's much easier if you just work into the chain spaces then do that because it can be a little bit tricky working up into the top of the chain there so if if you're not exactly sure where the the uh, chain space is it's this one here okay so in between the chain and the next stitch okay so there we go you've got your your rainbow so I've got like I said I've got the five colors if you want to go for another row then you know go ahead just follow the same sort of pattern do your chain change your color do your chain two. First stitch uh, underneath the chain so one double crochet then one double crochet two double crochets and then because it's the next row and you want to increase you'll add five single double crochets in the next five stitches okay and then you might just have to adjust it like I, we did the have had to there just to either skip one I'm not exactly sure how that will work out but you'll just have to um, arrange it so you in the last one you do two double crochets okay um, and like I said you might have to add one skip one depending on um, wh where you're at at the end so you just have to be a little bit creative at the end there so you get your two double crochets into the last stitch so there's your finished rainbow so just yarn over and pull through snip off that end now if you haven't cut all your ends you can do that at this point I've been cutting them as I go so um, they're all ready and what I do just to secure them is I just tie a simple double knot in those ends and they're going to be covered by tassels anyway so it's not a big deal if it's super neat down at that end so just tie those all those ends together just a simple a simple knot 
And then the last one here. Now, if you're not adding tassels, what you'll do is you'll weave in your ends here. Okay, so you'll just weave each colour into its colour, if that makes sense. So the blue into the blue, the green into the green. You'll just weave those ends in. And um, sk you'll skip forward to where we place um, the the neckband. So as I showed you with this one, the, my previous one, where I just did the reverse of the colours, um, I did just this this super simple just tie necktie okay so we'll skip forward to that um, and I'll put the on the on the video I'll put where to skip forward to um, otherwise if you're making the uh, tassels come along with me and I'll show you what we do with the what we do to make the tassels Okay, so to make the tassels, just work out how long you want um, you want your tassels to be. So, in this one, this first one I made, I've actually I've made them, you know, relatively long. You don't have to make them this long. You can make them longer if you prefer. Um, but I'm going to make them probably about the same length as as these ones. So, uh, yeah. So choose your length. So I'm going to make them, yeah. So just remember that your tassels will double over. So the length is half of this, okay? So I just, what I do here to make these tassels is I just find the length that I want and then I just roughly make lengths like this. So just looping over, come down to the other end, loop over and I do that for as many times as I want for you know depending on how thick you want your tassels to be so what this will be is your tassel will be like that because it's is it's in half okay so once you've tied your tassel on it will be that length so half the length of the little loops that you're making and it will be like that Okay, so that's about how thick it will be. So that's, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. And, you know, this is just a, a, you've got full creative license to make these tassels how you want them to be. And then once you've got them where you want them to be, just snip off that end. And what I do is I keep that loop for now. I keep that all looped. Eventually we'll cut these to make the tassels, but I, I tend to do that at the end so I can even it up. So just fold, fold that in half, insert your crochet hook into that chain at the end of your row, into your loops, and you, you may need a larger crochet hook for this, but if you can get it done with your, the one that you've used, then go ahead, I think I'll be able to. So you just pull that loop, so you, you pull up the, the halfway point, and pull it pull it through so at this point you don't want to make your tassels too short because otherwise this this part will be a little bit difficult so you've got your your loop your halfway point there and then you just oops and then you'll just feed the other ends through your tassel and I'm incorporating my blue end into the tassel so then I don't have to do any weaving in which makes me very happy. So it can be a little bit fiddly, but just get the all of those tassels through and pull them tight. So you've you've basically just knotted that whole strand onto your work. And then just make sure that they're even. And then you'll go ahead and you'll cut all your loops. So what I just tend to do is I just tend to cut across. And what I, I'm showing you now, because I'm only going to show one, 
one uh, tassel and I'll work through and put all my other ones on off camera but what I'll t what I tend to do is make all of my tassels first and then cut them all to the length that I want them to be so they're all the same length so I don't tend to cut them one by one okay so I'll cut them all at the end but just to show you so I just give them a little haircut so they're all even and that's my first tassel Okay, now what you'll need to make sure that you do to make sure that the knots are all on the same side is make sure you tie them in exactly the same way. So they all look like they're knotted the same way. You'll just see there's, there's the underside of the knot, there's the top side of the knot. So you'll just want to make sure that all of either the undersides or all the top sides are, um, are you know, facing the same way. And you can see that my tail end has been worked into the tassel, so I don't have to don't have to work that in. So go ahead and make all of your tassels. So you can, you know, you can do them however you want to. You can do all the same color tassels. What I have done in this last one and what I'm going to do again is I add the corresponding color tassel into the corresponding color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera and you do it however you want to do it. And I'll meet you once I've done that. I uh, also just want to come quickly back and just show you when, when you're, you're incorporating your tail ends into your, into your tassel, sometimes what helps is just place your hook up underneath the knot of the tassel and hook up your, your tail end and just pull it through. Okay, so it's part of... Hopefully that was on camera. Yeah, so it's part of your tassel. And as you can see, I'm, I'm building these, these tassels, and they're all a bit of a different length. But it doesn't matter at this point because I'm going to cut them all off to meet this one here. So that's what I tend to do is I, I just make them. So I don't have to worry too much about the, you know, making them exactly the same length. And then I'll just, I'll just cut them and tidy them up after. Okay? So I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've done all my tassels there, so I'm going to, now I'm going to clean them up, and I've actually gone to get my larger sewing scissors, which will just give me a little bit better cutting than my small crochet scissors. So basically you just even them all up according to your liking. If there's any that you need to cut the loops off, then go ahead and do that. Some of the loops might be shorter than where you're cutting. So I'm just going to cut with these, like I said, super sharp sewing scissors to give me approximately even. And see these loops here, you might need to cut through those. Which is easy enough to do at the end. There's one that definitely needs cutting. So just cut through all of those loops. A few more. And there you go with your finished rainbow. But we're going to just add that super simple um, necktie onto this. And all I did to do that was just take so use whichever color you want, and I'm going to use my blue. So all I did is I just basically did what I was doing for these, oh, there's a couple more loops, for these tassels, and I would just looped up a few strands. So I did three for my last one. So I'm just looping up some lengths of, it's a little bit hard for me to show you all of that on camera, but so I'm just looping up some ends, and I just made three, so I'm just going to cut that off there now. And then all I did is, so you can see on this one, just to keep this super simple, all I've done is just attached, so find, find the middle point, and then count the same number of stitches on each side. So let's go, that's my middle one there. So one, two, three, four. I think I'll put it in that fourth one there. 
and all I did is just pull up a pull up a loop and feed those through. So I've got one end that's long, this is going to be my tying end, one end that's just short but long enough for me to get through the so it's basically just large tassels, large thin tassels. And so I'll just tie those on, pull through the long, just move that off so we've got some focusing better. There we go. And so all I did was like that, and then I just snipped off this end. And then I did the same for the other tie and snip off that that loop. So that's a really super way, you know, super simple way you could you could make something that allows you to tie this around your cat's neck. And you'll just obviously do the same on the other side. Just match, you know, four stitches down the other side or however many you're deciding to, to do. Um, maybe I could have actually done one more over, but whatever, it's it's not a big deal. Um yeah, and so that pretty much finishes your your rainbow. And you know, you could you could plait this. Um, you know, you could twist it. You could do something a little bit creative with these ties if you want to. Um, you could make something you know completely different to what I've done here. It's entirely up to you. But that's that's all I've done for this one, just to um, you know make it super simple and and cute. So congratulations, please send your photos along, I would love to see them as always, um, send your, your photos along of your cat supporting LGBTQ communities and people and their dignity and, and quality, so I would love to see that. So please, please send those along to catventurous.community at gmail.com or tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet. So Thanks so much for being here once again. Happy Pride Month and catch you soon. Hi everyone, welcome to our video tutorial in solidarity. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's just a little bit of fun. So join us in solidarity with our, with our LGBTQ brothers and sisters and uh, hope to catch you soon. Thanks, bye. Yeah. Yeah. It sure is.